Hey everybody, welcome to another video and today we are going to we are going to talk about Ubisoft's latest release Skull and Bones. Now, as a lot of you, I mean like it was well advertised Skull and Bones is going to be Ubisoft's biggest quadruple A, you know, title. What is quadruple A? What is triple A? You know, you must have heard of a, a lot about this. So basically, it just denotes like the amount of production value that has been put into a game, right? And that reflects on the base game price. So, you know, higher the game production value, higher the game base price. And basically what it means is we are going to get a really good game. Now, you know, as of late, you know, triple A games have been, you know, it's kind of like a hit or miss, right? A lot of studios have been kind of like fumbling the ball a little bit. And Ubisoft has somewhat been in the trend, right? Let's let's be honest. And now they've made, uh, the CEO has made like big claims that this is the first of its kind quadruple A uh, game. And so what is there to expect? Now, uh, the initial gameplay footage, like all the trailers and everything. Yeah, sure, trailers are always, you know, fine. It's This is what trailers do. It hypes up people a little bit, right? Even I also found it a little bit interesting at first and then when I saw the gameplay I kind of like seeing a little bit you know I mean it's okay it, it doesn't seem any captivating right but I wanted to see like what what, what is it going to be at the end like what is the end product going to look like right so what is it what, what is the game right now so this is on uh, Ubisoft connect right this is what the game is so this is in EU so the base game is like you can get it for like 18 euros that's roughly like maybe uh, 21, 22, 23 US dollars per month if you play through subscription or you can just get the entire thing for 60 euros. That's roughly about 64 dollars, uh, I guess, which is quite expensive for a game, right? Uh, if you have like, you know, this is not paying 60 bucks for a game, uh, in my opinion, is expensive, right? So I, I need to see like, you know, value for money, you know, things like that. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, the initial, you know, gameplay footages were not too promising. I mean, for me, right, it's just my opinion, right? Uh, I, I see I see how it can be a little bit of interesting. So it's just like, you know, single player, multiplayer, action RPG. So, you know, with surrounding around piracy, naval combat. So there's a lot, to, there's a lot like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, Sea of Thieves and, you know, things like that. Because Revenge In. So it's basically that with, you know, better production value, right? So this is what the, 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 this is what you would expect, right? Sea of Thieves, something like Sea of Thieves, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Sea of Thieves. Yes, let's make it work, right? Mainly like if they just built on top of Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. This is what I was expecting. They could have done a better job, right? So, I mean, so far people are saying like you know people are saying you know even I'm not sure if this is true or not, but this is reported by Gabe Schrader that it is not worth it, right? It has its a little bit of flares, but you know, it's just does not have any story or, and things like that. It's, I mean, you're just paying a lot of money and you're not getting a lot of value out of it, right? It's just a little bit of like, you know, RPG, go, a little bit of grinding here and there. And then, you know, they have live, live services, you know, none of us like live services that too much. We just want a really good game that we can play offline or whatever single player, you know. Just have a good experience, right? Even the IGN review, I usually we know that the IGN reviews have. Uh, it's a, it's not really the most honest review ever. They do give a bit of you know leeway towards the developer, right? And you know they've also pretty much saying the same thing, right? There's a little bit of there's there's a little bit to look into in terms of naval fighting, but. Um, Overall, there's like no whiffs of story, no pro proper, you know, uh, character development and, you know, things like that. Nothing else is like being invested in. So it's just like just aimless grinding, going after riches, aimless objectives. Sounds like repetitive objectives. PvP events could be fun if they manage to work properly. So let me read a little bit of this. So when they work properly, that is, and unfortunately they often don't. There's really a common bug where instead of a hostile takeoff activity directing you to one area, it points you to six, seven, annoyingly leaving you scrambling to figure out which one is the right one. Oh, that is bad. Other times during legendary heist. All right, all right, okay, so PvP stuff. I mean, it is what it is, right? So the main thing what I would look for is, right, is it better than Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Because I think Assassin's Creed Black Flag by Ubisoft was one of the best naval 
games they have ever produced. It had everything, right? It had piracy, it had, you know, traversal, it has naval traversal, naval combat, you know, shipboarding, you know, it had everything in it, right? It had a, it was a complete game on its own, right? That's why it was so successful. And I was just looking, checking out this video, right? So this is like the naval, this is, so, so far from what I've seen, there is no melee combat, right? I have never seen a single melee combat video, right? Uh, when you're on land, it's just you going around, interacting with things, that's about it. There's nothing else you can do on land. But other than that, it's just mainly you on your ship doing everything. So this is courtesy of, you know, Reckless Tommy. I will, I will link all these videos in the description below. So yeah, so this is a video by Reckless Tommy. He's like showing all the ship battles, right? Let me just zoom in. I just want to see. Let's just let's just watch a complete ship battle and see, right? Let's just dodge it ourselves. Right now, so this is nice, right? So this is just like in Black Flag, but a little bit improved. You can aim your cannons, blah blah blah. Okay, you can fire your muskets. That's nice. So this is intense. This is good. This is good to see. Although, I would really like to see what the boarding would look like, you know, because there's not, there's not melee combat in the game, right? So how would you board and take over a ship? So this is like the first time I've ever seen like proper naval combat, because I've seen, I've seen in all the trailer videos, it's, it's always shown, you know, just cannons firing and blah blah blah, stuff like that. So I just want to see a proper end-to-end -end naval combat. Is this chasing the guy? Are they running away? Oh, there we go. Boarding, boarding. Okay, the crew is boarding. Boarding success. Wait, what? That's it? Are you serious? That's it? You just press triangle and you're done boarding the ship? You just get all the loot? Okay, fine. And then... What happened to the ship? No, 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 no. This is a, this is first time. Oh no! Are you serious? Did they really not build a boarding mechanic or do anything else like a mini game at least? Like you know, just have more interaction because it feels like we just shot the ship to death and then we just go just stole its resources just like that with the click of a button and then everything else is handled by a cutscene. Oh my goodness! I didn't know it was this bad. In Black Flag, you could board the ship, take out a few crew members, fight, like even the boarding, you can swing on a rope, jump from the mast and do all sorts of crazy shit. And then you could either sink the ship or make it join your naval, your army, your navy, right? You can recruit the, the crew members, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, why couldn't they just build on top of it? Right? They already had the foundation for it, right? It just feels like a lost cause. Or uh, hang on. Alright, alright. I wanna see one thing. I wanna... Has anyone done a comparison video? Skull and Bones versus Black Flag. Someone someone must have done a comparison video, right? Let's check it out. Someone must have done these two games are eleven years apart. Alright, courtesy of Nick Tech. Alright, let's check it out. Courtesy of Nick Tech, right? He has done a comparison video. So we're going to link uh, his uh, channel in the description below as well. So you guys can follow it. Follow it and check it out. So I, I, I want to see like a proper comparison video between between uh, both games. Alright, so this is Colin Bones.
Is this Assassin's Creed? It's a lot more foggier than I remember. Okay, so you can hunt fish. Not a big fan of harpooning because, but yeah, it's fine. Anyone hear that? Look out! Okay, he's a slippery bastard. Yeah, I mean there was a lot more to do in Assassin's Creed, right? Like we can just clearly see it here. It's just crazy. All right, what is this there? Disembarking. Yeah, and it feels like your crew is much more reactive to the events around the sing and all that. It's a bit more lively in Assassin's Creed, but I could be wrong. Oh my goodness, you can't go. Oh my goodness, you can't just walk into the water. You can't swim. You literally can't swim. You can't swim in this game. It's a pirate game for crying out loud, Ubisoft. It's a quadruple A pirate game. You can't swim. A pirate can't swim? What is this, One Piece? Is he a devil fruit eater? He's blocked! He can't- there's an invisible barrier! He can't swim! He can't- oh! Like, let him swim to your ship, man! You can- oh my goodness! What are we- what is- what- what? How are people okay with this? I ah oh my god like how do you go from this to that All right, what is the world what is the what is the land exploration right oh my goodness you have invisible walls how is it open world when it's not then you can't go is it oh my goodness you can't just jump off it no it's like invisible walls everywhere. So the land is like a very linear uh, segment of the game. Yeah, when Assassin's Creed, we, we don't need to say much about it. We knew. We knew. Oh my goodness. Dude, why couldn't they just... Just, just bring Assassin's Creed Black Flag and just strip the assets, make them look different. And oh my, oh, oh, what is this blue color? Why, why is it? Why, why, what is that blue? What is that weird blue color in the water? Like, why is it so bright blue? That's not. That is, that, that, that looks like a cartoon wave. Oh my goodness, how bad is this game? I mean. I'm just getting a headache just looking at it now. <laughs> like, it's hard to imagine that these games are like a decade apart, right? Quadruple A, wow. Oh my goodness. People don't even react to you like holding a torch up. Oh my goodness, like like NPCs are just just dummies here. What, what what I mean I'm curious to know what where the quadruple A has been invested in, like you know the quadruple A bits. Like high value production, yes, but where, where? Alright, let's what else is there? I was thinking of actually like you know maybe because I like playing multiplayer games with my friends so so we are always on you know on the scout we are always scouting out you know good good to play because you know hell divers is out right you know so we are considering like start playing hell divers right so the like the gang gets together and we play and you know since this was there so 
someone suggested does anyone want to take a look at skull and bones and then oh my goodness like wow <laughs> oh my god mm. yeah this is this is is it is it multiplayer though like can you play as part of the same crew or is it just you playing your own thing you can't ex you can't explore islands on foot oh my god a pirate game and you can't you can't get out of your boat to explore why why like why is this coming in a new update in the next update like how is this game 60 bucks Yeah, Black Flag, you can just stop anytime you want and just jump, explore, do whatever you want. Like, it didn't matter. How did we go from this to this? Why? Oh my, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Find your flip up! Uh, I mean, there isn't much to say. Uh, I'll I'll link the two videos in the description below. But yeah, I I think I think it's a safe bet to say that you know I will be avoiding this game because I don't think it's a really good investment. I mean, this is just bad. I mean, th I mean, this just pissed me off like this bit. Like, how can you have a pirate game and have an invisible barrier? On, oh my goodness. So you, so what you can do in game is pretty much get on your boat. So that's the open world bit, but it's not truly open world because you cannot get on and like any random island, you can't get down from it. But you can go only get down, disembark on certain, I guess, some certain selected towns or islands. And in those areas also, it's like very, it's like a very linear part that you can explore. Oh my goodness. Like how, oh my goodness. Imagine grinding on this game, just like doing the, getting on the ship, going. So you can't get off the ship. So how do you, what do you grind exactly? Okay, so you, like you don't board ships as well. It's just a click of a button. How do you harvest materials? Is it just a click of a button since you can't get down on an island to, what, chop wood and shit like that? Oh my goodness, like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, definitely me? No, no, no. I don't think I would recommend this game. I mean, just let's just go back to playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I mean, like, that was fun. It had a multiplayer portion as well, right? The whole naval battle thing. That was fun. You should just go back to that. Oh my goodness, look at this. So many people have made comparisons to Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it is a blueprint, right, for a proper piracy game with proper naval combat that, and, you know, you have Sea of Thieves, right? Like, why couldn't they, like, kind of, like, take a look at Sea of Thieves? What was wrong with Sea of Thieves? Like, it's there, right? Like, how it needs to be done, right? And we end up with this. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Ubisoft is... I wonder like how do they look at this like and be like mm, this is what the player base is looking for it's crazy it's crazy so they all have it skull and bones like I didn't I didn't I didn't know but I heard like I saw a lot of noise about it so I just th thought of like doing a video about it as well just to talk about skull and bones and like uh, because la as of late you know all of Ubisoft games like their biggest games like Assassin's Creed like Mirage was fine, right? Because just because they said they're going back the rules, that's why it, like it piqued people's interest again. But other than that, I can't remember the last time I was properly psyched about a Ubisoft game. Uh, like all the Watch Dogs games, I think Watch Dogs. Oh my God, let me don't get me started on Watch Dogs. That is another story. Uh, all right. So do like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you guys enjoy the content. And as always. I appreciate you guys for the continued support. I will see you guys in the next video live stream. Till next time then, bye bye.